everyone and welcome to this history video focusing on Henry VIII's need for an annulment and the subsequent fall of Thomas Wolsey. So an annulment is basically saying that your marriage was never valid in the first place and by 1529 Henry VIII needed one for multiple reasons. Firstly, Catherine of Aragon was in her 40s and Henry needed a son to secure the future Tudor dynasty as at this point they only had a daughter Mary. Now there were two conflicting Christian arguments which Henry used for and against his annulment. Henry used the Leviticus which says it's sinful to have a relationship with your brother's widow and so the lack of a son was punishment from God. Whereas Deuteronomy says that you must marry your brother's widow. As remember that Prince Arthur died a year after marrying Catherine. Also important was the fact that in 1527 Henry met the much younger Anne Boleyn and fell in love with her and wanted to marry her. So Henry VIII needed an annulment because he needed a son, which, according to the passages of Leviticus, he would never have unless he remarried a younger woman, a.k.a. Anne Boleyn. So by 1529, the annulment with Catherine of Aragon was Henry's main priority, and he passed the responsibility of getting the annulment onto Thomas Wolsey. Wolsey used two different methods, firstly a French alliance, and secondly a legatine court. In order to get an annulment, Henry needed permission from the Pope, and in order to get permission from the Pope, Henry needed control of Charles V, but this was impossible. Charles V was actually Catherine of Aragon's nephew, and this meant he would never give permission for an annulment, because that would make his niece Mary illegitimate, and it would also bring dishonour to their name. Now, after the sack of Rome in 1527, Charles had control of the Pope, which meant he had complete control of whether or not Henry would get an annulment. So, following the Treaty of Moore in 1525, Henry tried to invade Charles V with French support, but of course this always failed. Wolsey then tried to get papal dispensation, which basically just means Pope permission, via a legatine court. A man called Campeggio was sent as the Pope's representative to the court in England and discussed with Wolsey over a few months the annulment. However, Campeggio was ordered to postpone it for as long as possible and never actually give permission, so the legatine court was also a failure for Wolsey. All of these failed attempts at getting an annulment meant that Henry lost his patience and in 1529 had Wolsey arrested for treason. However, Wolsey died in 1530 before he could be executed. The nobles very quickly turned against Wolsey the second that they thought Henry was turning against him, which shows the fragility of Wolsey's power. 